number one on dueling book with the best stack pendulum you are about to go number one at locals with the best deck pendulum i am about to win why is hartford with pendulum i guess ready with the updated absolutely was broken way to play pendulums in Yu-Gi-Oh! upcoming right here right now i was sick for a whole fucking month almost but i'm back baby i'm back and i'm ready you guys are ready for the best way to play pendulums this is in-depth knowledge but it's like gordon ramsay teaching us how to make a steak this is like victoria telling you her secret this is something you guys cannot miss if you guys want to learn about pendulums this is the video for you if you guys have any intention to play pendulums format this is the video for you so smash the subscribe button smash the like button and we're back baby let's go you can't keep a legend down for long baby we are back we'll find a way to be back monkey board monkey board brought us back baby we're back we're but you guys brought me back the only thing is going to be here in complaining from is our opponents that are going to cry about all the negates that they're going to have to deal with with this deck all right anyways enough talking let's get into it so the reason why i play everything is very simple all right the first 24 cards you guys see from this side okay the, the right here the four by six right here six by four these 24 they're your starters okay these are the cards you, you want all the time you want, need oaf dragon you need iris you need harmo and then these 15 get to them joker wisdom dual science pen call get to these prosperity also gets to these and then after you get these you always want to make sure you have oaf dragon double iris set up in your this is a very stay to another video man i'm gonna give you guys some serious serious knowledge here always your first priority must be double iris and scale second priority is oaf dragon and scale third priority is search harmo to hand okay the only time when this doesn't really happen is with monkey board now monkey board actually not ironically is not crazy good in pendulum magicians because it conflicts with oaf dragon conflicts with double iris you're not able to scale the double iris to pop it to search your pen graphs you're not able to add with the oaf dragon you're not able to special tuning magician it actually conflicts with magicians this doesn't it's not called magician monkey board it's got performing power monkey board in, in the hate perform pendulum heyday with pepe this card was the best card in the deck but it's still good to have one monkey board because this ensures now that uh, you go a lot of plays involved where you go, uh, you know, like Joker, search the monkey board, search the celestial pen summon. There's also scenarios where you go Joker, search monkey board, search uh, celestial special souls, make beyond the pendulum, beyond the pendulum, and negate the monkey board, scale double iris pendulum summon. So there are plays where you can still negate it and be fine. Uh, and it does offer a lot of scenarios where your opponent must respond and like deal with it. So it's still good, especially post side deck. We're playing the greatest side deck, the most base side deck in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, which I'll explain later in the video. This whole side deck obliterates this entire meta. Sword Soul, nice dark hole, clears the whole board, nice deck. Um, you know, Despia, you'll be surprised, man. Despia, you don't need a side deck against that deck for this deck only. The reason why is it inherently destroys that deck. But if you combine how this deck already has such a great job dealing with that deck, but also just throwing in one little lightning storm to stop the potential, old, the only way they beat you is super poly or like you know maybe like double droplet or no not double droplet i mean like droplet super poly but lightning storm stops that and the main issue branded in red and all you have to deal with is a mercurier and a banished one there's no chimera that, that, that is baby food that is that is baby food let me tell you so the, the, it's important to be able to uh, understand this and don't trade too much stuff in your side deck you could e either put this or put in hand traps but hand traps don't do shit if you're facing a good uh, despia player yo hand traps aren't doing anything uh I understand, you know, Ash Branded Fusion, okay, but they're, they're having so much emphasis now on Fallen of Albaz. I'm still playing through Branded Fusion getting Ashed, so I'm just going to give my opponent the benefit of the doubt. Let them put up the best board they possibly can, and it's still no match. Like, you know, you have Guardian Chimera, even if they have Draco Stepalia, it doesn't matter. If they have, if they have a Mirror Jade, I don't care, it does nothing. Um, after this, you'll want to still set up your extenders. You have 10 extenders on the deck, Curtain Razor, Chronograph, Tuning, Souls. These extenders make it so they're also starters. And uh, Astro is also 11 star 11 extenders, 14 if you count Prosperity. So yeah, 4, 8, 11, 14 extenders, 24 starters, 25 starters with Monkey Board. And so you have basically 36 starters. You have 36 starters in a deck. Uh, how are you going to break with 36 starters in the deck? Black Bank, Poison Celestia, they're not necessarily the starters, but these 36 are very much the starters. Oaf and Iris are the cards you want in the scale, and it's just so consistent, it's insane. And that's how you get the first in Dueling Book, and that's how you defeat all your opponents. Double Black Bang is how you play going second. Now, going second is also very easy for this deck, especially Beyond the Pendulum is very good, very easy. Black Bang makes it so you could loop a cycle of Black Bang three times with uh, Astro getting back the Black Bangs, Oaf searching it, and Time Star being the real MVP of this extra deck, being able to search the Astrograph and trigger Black Bang multiple times going second. Absolutely insane. One Poison to search when you need it, one Celestia to search for Monkey Board when you need it, and one time gets for this, and then uh, these three 
Uh, Star Pangraph is not a brick. A lot of times you go Artemis if you hard draw and really need to scale. So it comes up a lot, especially with extenders. Star Pangraph is actually very good. One side, one trap Pangraph. This deck's insane. I'm telling you, it's absolutely absurd. Side deck now, I'm telling you, like, you'll be surprised. You side in all these 12 against com combo decks. <clears throat> I'm telling you, it, it, you, you don't brick. Like, you can't brick with this deck. It's impossible. If you have too many of these, let's say you draw two, three of them. Let's say you draw one Regeki, one Dark Hole, one Lightning Storm. Okay, well, your opponent cannot play through two of them. So you have one left. All right, pen call it away. This deck is not like old Pendulum where it needs five cards to play. This deck plays with three cards because if you're on the Pendulum, Joker, Monkey Board, pen call, like three cards, you're good. And you have so many ways to these cards, like three, six, nine. Any extender makes me on the Pendulum. Like, it's just so good versus, with little cards that you're even able to play 15 hand traps if you want. But this is just the best way to play it. You decided my reboot every single game going second because the only way this deck loses is anti spell D barrier, and that's a very big part of this format because Despia. But you want to play Red Reboot all the time to stop it. So they're typically going to have three of those, and you're going to have one of those. I know the odds are more so in their favor, but you also have a six card to draw for turn. And you, know, you just have to hope. And Prosperity is what if you see a set, sometimes you use Prosperity right away. They won't D barrier, and, and, and they'll wait until you scale up your scales first, then you just get your Red Reboot. So you actually have more ways to stop D barrier than they do. Uh, have D barrier because you're prosperity into red reboot and they're not chaining D barrier, no chance. Uh, one Artemis, one one beyond the pendulum, one Dagda, one dark. Dark is also yeah. accessible, you could take it out for some other stuff you want, but I think this is the next one to play. One Nido, five, one Selene, one, one Axe, one Appalooza, one TG Wonder, one Baron, one Savage, one Tapster, one Baguska, one Tornado, one Zeus. If you guys want to see how to actually combo with this deck, I do want I'm gonna do a whole video on combo tutorial because there's so much to explain. The typical combo of this deck, the typical board leads to Baron to floor. Time Star Magician with a pen graph to protect, a Tornado Dragon as well, and a Needle Fiber just there. Two ways to pop the site, not that you need it, you just need one, but uh, some, and a pen graph for two. Some combination of all this is the board. Savage, a lot, good amount of the time as well, and Apollosa, a good time of the time as well. So that's the basic board. The full board is when you end on Apollosa, Savage, and Baron to Floor, uh, some way to pop site and pen graph. And uh, that's also, it happened, it does happen for sure as well. And there's so much stuff you guys need to learn about this. So you guys can just watch the videos. I'm gonna post another one tomorrow on how to combo with this deck. I'm telling you guys, the deck's absolutely insane. 36 starters, you can't brick. This is the best way to play Beyond the Pendulum. This is the best way to play Pendulum in this format. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys love this video, if you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Helps me out a lot. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'm telling you guys, tomorrow's video is gonna be a whole combo video. Don't wanna miss that either. I got the first place in Blue Book with this, and I'm gonna be the first place at Watt Hartford with this too. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, the deck's insane. I'm telling you. There's just so many cool combos I wanna show you guys. There's like a whole fucking spreadsheet that you guys just need to know. It's not a basic, simple way to play the deck or pendulum. There's so many lines of play with Time Star where you go, go do crazy shit. You do stuff like uh, after your pen summon, you go time star to search Astrograph. You go Baron to pop your scale, special time stars to search the wisdom. I uh, active uh, activate wisdom. I don't use special. Uh, don't use wisdom. I effect uh, protect it with time star to send the tuning tuning effect the special up from graveyard. Like you're using time stars effect twice. The first and second effect. There's times where you Celine special out the time star, uh, wisdom I protect with time star a second time because not a hard once per turn. Send harmonizing, harmonizing. So um, like bring that out. Like uh, just black fang pop, bring harmonizing special out bearing the floor. But that's how you get bearing the floor. Like or make savage. Or like, there's just so many lines of plays that are actually very difficult to see if I'm being honest. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Deck uh, combinatorial coming tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. I love you guys. Thank you for being patient. Content back to every day. Let's go. Peace.